Beer was just always a shared love. Everything major in our lives happened around beer. We did meet over beer. We are definitely an authentic farm to tap brewery. We farm pretty much all the ingredients for all our beer right here on site. Hops are looking good. Yeah, it's really good. Michael and Katherine Johnson are the husband and wife team behind the brewery meshing their love for beer and the rural lifestyle. We live on 11 and a half acres. We have our home here, our family's here, our business is here. Our philosophy is really based in um, connecting people to the land, <laughs> connecting people to where their beer comes from. So we bring people out to the farm to give them an experience they normally wouldn't get. And what's a goat house without goats? <laughs> There's a lot of them. We don't even have a current count of how many goats. High 30s, I think. High 30s-ish. They're like rabbits. Well, the buck got out. And so this buck somehow scaled a five-foot wall and then had his, way. had his way, shagged his way through all the goats. And how he reached all of them, I don't know. So I'm impressed with his extension. You know, we're like first generation like farmers, right? I'm, I mean, we're, we're, I'm, we're learning it all. Then there's no one teaching us. But they're not doing it alone. The kids pitch in to help as well. Not those kids, these kids. Their son Nolan and daughter Mia. They also have several full-time employees. Triple full fresh man. Hey there, how are you doing? As for Catherine and Michael's roles. We both kind of do a little bit of everything, but I handle all the, the beer side of things. Catherine does uh, more of like the business side of things. There's a lot of togetherness. There's a lot of togetherness. There's actually probably not as much as people would think because, you know, his office is the brewery. So he's out here, you know, brewing, you know, night and day, like seven days a week. Um, and then I'm, you know, in the office or, you know, with the kids. Oh, good girl, get your stick. Our personalities are pretty different. I am definitely the type A business, you know, timelines and, you know, more like, Bridget one, um, and he's he's not not, um, but in a good way. I mean, <laughs> it is a it is a definite balance. Yeah. We got this, baby. Yeah, <laughs> she's my yang to my yin, is how that works. I can explain it. He is like my third child, <laughs> <laughs> um, but he's he's my he's my everything. Um, so you know, the love of my life. I fell in love with him the moment I met him. Which brings us back to the beginning of this story. Everything major in our lives happened around beer. We did meet over beer. We met actually at my uh, my favorite cousin's wedding. I was a bridesmaid and he was a, a, a groomsman. We were at the, the, the table with the, the family and friends and uh, you know people are ordering like their drinks and whatnot. And I hear, and I hear this like little voice squeaking out, what kind of dark beer do you have? I love stouts. I was just like, what? <laughs> and I looked down the table and I saw this cute little blonde down there and I was like, oh, I gotta meet her. And then the rest is history. These two lovebirds have been through quite a bit in a relatively short period of time. And it's a stark contrast from when they first met. It's a far cry from where we used to live in kind of our previous world. I went from uh, yeah, city life to country life. And yeah, born and raised in San Francisco. Michael and Catherine both had successful careers in the city. Michael worked in radio broadcasting and Catherine worked in marketing for Apple. So what possessed them to uproot their lives from the city? We knew we always wanted space. You know, you're on top of someone. I commuted three to five hours every day. And then you'd come home and you're circling the block trying to park in front of your very house. And we're like, God, is this it? Is this life? Is this, is this all she wrote? Who loves me? Their kids were also a big factor in their decision. They never saw me. They didn't see him. It, you know, we were ships passing in the night. At that time, our daughter was in kindergarten and our son was in third grade. Um, and so we knew we had a really a, a limited window of where we could do a significant major life change um, with, the with the kids and not fundamentally screw them up. They knew it was now or never to start turning their entrepreneurial dream into reality. We didn't think we could open a business in the Bay Area 
and then look to move to a rural location to actually raise our family. We didn't think we could do both. Well, maybe we skip the, the urban component and just go straight to a farm component. And so began their search for properties that would have enough space to fit a farm, brewery, and their family home. We literally had, you know, like a map of, you know, California, and we would go and drive. Every weekend, we would spend touring kind of the state of California, looking at properties. Eventually, they set their sights on the small Northern California town of Lincoln. I remember when we first saw this property, we were driving down the road, and it was definitely a uh, gut feeling of just like, oh my God, like this, this can't, I was like, this is it. I was like, this is the place. And boy, were they right. Goat House Brewing has turned into a homegrown hit since opening their barn doors in 2013. We were just recognized by the Brewers Association as the second fastest growing small brewery in the nation. And we're like, <laughs> what? <That's... laughs> it's beyond the dream. And we're pouring everything we have into the farm and then the farm kind of gives back and then our kids are thriving. A lot of people kind of, you know, look at their lives and it's just like, you know, what if we did this? What if we did that? And they kind of stand, stand at the edge, going, looking over the edge, going, you know, what if we did take that leap? It's a huge leap. Huge leap. And it takes a lot of chutzpah, and it's safer to back away from that edge. Whereas, you know, Catherine and I kind of, we went over, looked at the edge, and we kind of looked at each other, and we both cannonball right off the edge. Well, like, we held hands, and then, you know. <laughs> we're doing this, and yeah. you, you gotta be like fully, fully committed, and you know, here we are, we're doing it. Oh, did <laughs>